Hi, it's George here. This is a video to accompany a blog post I wrote about beginners rhythm guitar. Um, I've had a few people who have come to me in the past for lessons and they can play a few open chords and they strum in a, a quarter note downward fashion the way everybody does when they first learn the guitar. But they're struggling to develop their rhythm so they can make the song sound more like they think the song should sound. So first thing to do when I get people that to reach that level and struggle to get any further is get them to understand what a quarter note rhythm is, what an eighth note rhythm is. So a quarter note rhythm is all downstrokes, four beats per bar in four four time. So it will be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, to, that's the kind of base point, quarter note rhythm, four notes per bar. Now to develop this, what we do, we change this into what's called an eighth note rhythm. So we insert one beat in between all of our quarter notes, which are counted as ands. So we get one and, two and, three and, four and. Now in terms of the guitar, the one, two, three, four is always on the down as you're playing four with your quarter note rhythm. But to get our ands, what we do is we catch the strings on the way back up. So we get one and, two and, three and, four and. So now we've got eight notes per bar, hence an eighth note rhythm. Now the key to all of this, or the key to rhythm guitar in general, to be honest, is the right hand. This is your metronome, this is your pendulum. As long as this doesn't stop moving in time to the music or to whoever else you're playing with or even to itself, then you'll find it very, very difficult to go out of time with your rhythm that you're trying to play. If you don't and try and do two downstrokes or two upstrokes or get all out of sync with the beat, you'll find it very, very difficult to pull yourself back and it'll start to sound a bit stuttery and a bit disjointed. So right hand is the key. Even if you don't strike the string, still move the hand up and down, up and down, constant motion. So we've gone from quarter notes into eighth notes. Now what we're going to do, we're going to mix and match some quarter notes and some eighth notes into our bar. So what we're going to do beat one on its own, then we're going to do beat two and, beat three on its own, beat four on its own. Now remember, constant motion with the right hand and just strike the string as and where you need to, to get that rhythm. So that rhythm that I just mentioned would sound like this. So one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Okay, so the right hand doesn't stop, constant motion. So we can develop that rhythm. We've got one, two, and three, four. Now maybe we could do one, two, and three, four, and. So that would sound like this. One, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and three, four, and. So if we mix a couple of those rhythms together, we would get something that more resembled a song rather than being a, a regular quarter note, almost an exercise, if you like to put it that way. So I'll just develop, I'll do a couple of those rhythms with a couple of different chord progressions and you'll, you'll see what I mean. So we get... So, very quickly, it starts to sound more like a song, it starts to sound pretty good. If we can develop that one stage further, bear in mind the right hand doesn't stop. We can now just strum the and of some notes and don't strum downwards or on the beat. So we could do one, the and of two, and then three and four. So one on its own, just the and of two, three and four on its own. So I'll play it and I'll count along so you can hear where it falls in the bar and where the strumming relates to the count. So we get one. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll play two or three different rhythms, different chord progressions, I'll up the tempo a little bit. Um, although it'll be faster, it's still going to be in an eighth note rhythm, because our tempo has increased, our strumming increases to the same amount. So a couple of different ideas sound something like this. So.
So there was a few variations in that, a few different rhythms all mixed together, one bar of one, one bar of another, back to the first one, all sorts of different things. So I hope the kind of general idea of this has been of some use. Um, check out the blog post, have a read, let me know what you think as well. And maybe write down some rhythms of your own. Uh, and hopefully these will make your song sound a bit more like you expect the song to sound. Okay, I'll see you next time. Cheers.